absolute value piecewise function evaluate step functions okay so what you have is you have uh, three segments that are shown on this graph itself so what we do is we look at this uh, sideways so this one right here corresponds with 7 so this has a height of 7 uh, this contains negative 4 but it, but the negative 4 is really not part of it it's just where it starts but the negative 4 again open circle means it's not part of it here you have a solid dot that means a negative 8 is part of it so this goes from uh, negative 4 to negative 8 uh, this one is at level 4 and this one goes from 3 to 9. So the 3 is included, the 9 is not because of the open circle. Uh, this segment is at level negative 7 and it's from negative 4 to 3. So negative 4 to 3 but again none of those numbers are contained in the actual segment there. So now what we'll do is we'll come down here and look at our choices and you see that the uh, different levels that we recognize, the 7, the 4, and the negative 7 is found here on top of the uh, chart here. So we want to look at uh, negative 4.01. Where would that be found? So negative 4.01 would be to the left of negative 4. So it would be contained on the segment and that would correspond with 7. The next number is uh, negative 4. Notice that negative 4 has an open circle so it's not contained on that segment nor is it contained on this segment here. So really no segment contains negative 4, so we would say that's undefined. The next one is a negative 3.99, so that's going to just be inside of the negative 4. So the graph doesn't go here, the graph stops at negative 4. Uh, this graph here, the, it sits inside of the negative 4 here, so this would be at negative 7. So the negative 3.99 would be here, because these are all positive numbers here. So again, we're looking at negative 7. Now the next number is uh, 3.001 so that's a, a positive 3. So here this stops at 3, doesn't include the 3. This actually includes a 3 but it goes all the way over to 9 so this would be found after the 3 so this would be level 4. Okay let's take a look at the uh, next graph. So on this particular graph here, we're at a uh, level 5. Because we look at the y-axis, it, it would be at, uh, at 5 on the y-axis. And this would start at 1 and actually go to 9. And notice 1 and 9 is contained on it, so 1 is part of this uh, segment, so, so is the uh, 9 itself. Uh, this one is at negative 3. And this segment would start at negative 9, and this segment would actually end at negative 1. But notice they're both solid, so the negative 1 and negative 9 is included. This segment's at negative 7, and this goes from negative 1 to positive 1, but neither number is included because, again, we have open circles there. So now what we're going to do is take a look at our uh, uh, chart down here and we see that we have h of negative 1. So negative 1 is not contained here, but negative 1 is contained here. So negative 1 would be part of this segment here. These do not have any negative numbers, so if it's on this segment here, negative 1, we look to the right and we see that this is at level negative 3. Now the next number we're working with is uh, 0 0.99. So it's a, a little less than 1. So it's inside of the 1. So this does me no good because this starts actually at 1 and after 1. So it's like, think of it like a dollar and this is like 99 cents. So 99 cents is not even more than a dollar. These are all negative numbers. So this one is out. This one actually stops at 1, but it also travels to negative 1. So it goes from negative 1 to 1. So the 99 cents would be inside of uh, between negative 1 and 1. And this is a level negative 7. Okay, next question. We got 1.0001. So we want to be a little bit more than 1. Well, this stops at 1, 
these are all negative numbers and this goes from 1 to 9 so this travels from 1 to 9 so this would this would follow in this section here so this would be level 5 now this one is exactly 9 so notice right here we do have exactly nine here so that's level five there's nothing that comes out this far so these other two don't even come close so five would be the level for the nine okay so look at the next one here so if you look at here on the top this is at seven and this goes from five but it doesn't include the five because it's an open circle and it stops at 9, so it includes the 9. This one is at negative 5, and this goes from 2 to 5. Notice the 2 is included, and the 5 is not included because of the open circle. Uh, this one is at level negative 6. This would include the negative 9, and this actually stops at 2, but again, the 2 is not included because of the open circles. So we have our levels there. We have 7, we have negative 5, and negative 6. So let's go, go to our table here. So the first number is 4.99. So 4.99. So 4.99 would be inside of 5 or $5 here. So this does me no good because it starts at 5 and more. And this is actually uh, stops at 5, but it also goes down to 2. So this runs us from 2 to 5. So this one's at level negative 5. Okay, the next one's 5. So this doesn't even go to 5. This does go to 5, but it's an open circle, so the 5 is not included. Uh, this also has a 5 in it, but we have an open circle, so it's not included. So 5 is not included in actually any of those two, so this would, would be undefined. Now we want to go past 5, so this is like 5.001, so it's almost like, you know, $5.01, so it goes a little bit past the 5. Well, this one stops at 5, this doesn't reach the 5, and this actually does go past 5 because this goes all the way to 9. So it would be right here at level 7. The next number is exactly 9. So looking at this, we do have a 9 because none of these other two segments reach 9. This does reach 9, and 9 happens to be a solid. So the 9 is contained at level 7. So this one would actually be level 7. Okay, next one. Let's go ahead and uh, talk about each of the segments here. So this would be at negative 3, and this starts at negative 9 and this ends at negative 2. Notice the negative 9 is open circle, so negative 9 is not included, but negative 2 has a solid, so negative 2 is included. This segment is at negative 7, and uh, this one would be negative 2, but the negative 2 is not included, and this ends at 1, and the 1 is not included. Now the segment below this is at negative 8. This starts at 1, and this goes to 9. But notice the 1 is included and the 9 is included because it's a solid circle. So we have negative 3 followed by negative 7 and negative 8. So the first number you want to look at is negative 2. So negative 2 is listed here but it's an open circle so it's not really included part of the line. It's where it starts but it doesn't include the negative 2. Uh, the negative 2 is here as well, but the solid tells me that it is included, so this one would be at level negative 3. Now the next one is uh, negative 1.99, so that would be a little bit to the right of negative 2. So here we stopped exactly at negative 2. This one is, however, going to the right. This one goes all the way to uh, positive 1. So we are moving to the right of negative 2, so this is at level negative 7. Now, the next number is 0.999, so that's, that's to slightly to the left of 1. So right here we have a 1, but notice right here we want 1 or more, so that's almost like having a complete dollar and moving forward. So the 0.99 is not really there, it's not quite a dollar, so uh, 
uh, negative 8 would not work. But however, negative 7 would work because inside of the 1 would be the 0.99, which would be right here. So that would be between negative 2 and 1, and that's at negative 7. Okay, the next one is exactly 1. So again, we have a 1 here, and we have a 1 here. But this is an open circle, so the 1 is technically not contained there. It's a mark to show that it stops, but again, the 1 is not part of it. Now here the 1 is part of it, and again, how do I know the 1 is part of it? Because it's a solid point here. So when you have a solid point, it says that the number is included. So we wouldn't use the negative 7, we would go ahead and use the negative 8. So let's mark this at a negative 8.